Hey YouTube Rando here. I wanted to do a video today on my uh, emergency roadside kit. Uh, it's something I carry in my truck. Uh, I kind of have the same uh, thing in my wife's car, but you know it's not exact, but it's close. Uh, now on top of this, I do carry a bug out bucket that I did a video on. Uh, it's just more emergency stuff in there, and then I carry. Uh, multiple hand tools under my seat of my truck. I got a steep uh, Stanley set, a uh, socket set, just a little throwaway set I keep under the seat, and then uh, I got a box of, you know, screwdrivers, ratchet wrenches, stuff like that that uh, I keep under the seat as well. And I really don't know everything that's in here, but I know the majority of it. In here we just have some wire strippers, uh, a little uh, window toolkit, flathead, uh, big crescent, uh, Phillips, and these are all cheap tool tools. I don't, uh, you know, this is channel off. Uh, about the most highest highest price tool I'll just throw in my vehicles is a Craftsman. I don't, you know, my snap-on stay in the box. I don't use them for uh, roadside kits. Alright, I'm going to have to use two hands to open this one. Zip ties work miracles. Good LED work light. And I thought there was some more stuff down in there. Let's see what's in the side pockets. I should have unzipped all these before I started the video, but I didn't. Got some electrical tape. That'll work wonders, even on uh like radiator hoses, like if you have a heater core hose leaking, something that's not, uh, doesn't have a lot of pressure behind it, you can wrap it in that and it'll keep it from leaking long enough to get you where you're going. A uh, little notepad, there's also a pencil, pen, and then just some uh, string. I carry a huge thing of bell and wire. It works wonders with uh, like exhaust systems. If you drop a pipe, you can take this and rig it back up to get you where you're going. Now this is a it's a locksmith kit. <clears throat> it's got like the uh, gas cap keys and some slim jims and some wedges, window wedges, stuff like that. Just uh different stuff in case, you know, wife locks her keys in the car or something, I can go bell it out. Now these, I carry in the truck, uh, now you're thinking bolt cutters, but, uh, we live down, uh, on the coast, uh, a lot of rust, people don't, uh, always take care of their un un undercarriage on their car, you know, they don't, uh, wash it. So it gets real rusty down there, and I've uh, more than once cut exhaust bolts out with this, and then just tapped them out, so there is a use behind it. And I don't carry this on my back, so it's not like I'm worried about weight. In here I just have a cheap uh, Craftsman set of sockets, little quarter inch sockets, a uh, big pry bar, pry bars always come in handy. I carry an extension cord because I also carry a small air compressor and a uh, battery charger as well. So I carry a little extension cord with me. I think it's like 30 feet, something like that. And then of course some uh, medium duty uh, jumper cables. Uh, I don't suggest you go buy the cheap ones, the little thin ones. It takes forever to charge a battery if you're doing it like that. 
<clears throat> at least buy some medium, uh, if not heavy. I was just trying to save room in the pack. I do have heavy duty jumper cables in my wife's car, uh, just in the trunk, and then I have another set in my truck that's heavy duty, but these will work for jumping off a small truck or a car or anything like that. So I carry those, and then I carry a small uh, cheap four way that breaks down. And this is extremely cheap, by the way. This is probably like ten dollars at a uh, Harbor Freight. So I've looked at a lot of uh, roadside kits before, and I just never find anything that uh, resembles a true emergency kit. Now my my kit's missing things like road flares, stuff like that. But I've never in my life used a road flare when I broke down. So. I don't find it as, you know, to be a necessity. A good ball peen hammer, <clears throat> much of a necessity. Your starter goes out, and you're in the middle of a parking lot, you can crawl under there and beat the hell out of it and usually get it to crank off. A few more odd and end screwdrivers. And then uh, I got a metric and a SAE Allen wrench set, just a small Allen wrench set in here. And then uh, I usually have a small Torx bit set and uh, a large punch that goes in here as well to use with the ball peen hammer. <clears throat> so that's it all together. Uh, now like I said, I carry tools in my truck, so it's not uh, complete here. This ain't everything, but this is, this is just the bag that sits behind the uh, seat of my truck. So thanks for watching YouTube.